What is up guys, this is All Day Any Day 1 on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you a build breakdown for my main man Hawkeye or Hawkeye, whatever you want to call him right, So let's look at his traits real quick His two main attributes are fighting and intelligence You gain 4% more damage, er, base damage for every point you have in fighting and 4% more Damage reduction for every point you have in intelligence. His um, main, I guess his main stat would be crit chance. He gets 3% more crit or critical ch hit chance. In the middle box, trick quiver. Trick arrow powers generate trick arrowheads when activated, which which causes which cause your next rocket arrow or boomerang arrow to trigger a free copy of the trick arrow. So we're not going to necessarily have to worry about the trick quiver. Um, combat training, health gain, you get 700 health per second for 4 seconds when you use a med kit. Um, deflect rating, multiplier is increased by 20%. Deflect rating in general is plus 600. Dodge rating multiplier is increased by 20%. And the dodge rating in general is increased by 600. So let's go down with each ability. We have serrated arrow. I have that on X. You get 50% more critical damage with that. You have a 20% chance to fire an additional arrow and another 10% chance to fire an ad another arrow, another additional arrow. So you can shoot two or three arrows with just your um, primary ability. You have rocket arrow, charge up and launch a rocket propeller arrow that lances through enemies and has an enhanced chance to critically hit 21,018 to 31,527 damage. Your damage is based off of your whatever your base damage is, though. So, mine might be the same as yours. Yours might be higher or might be lower. And the damage bonus 100% if fully charged, and you gain 10% critical hit chance, 100% chance to spend a trick arrowhead if available. So, you yeah. For I have this rocket arrows also on my L2 square. Acrobatic roll removes crowd control effects. Attack and movement speed is increased by 10%. Buff duration is 4 seconds. Cooldown is 4 seconds. And you get 3 max charges. Just like every other dashing ability. I put this one on LT circle. My overwhelming force. Overwhelming force is uh, skew skewer multiple arrow enemies at once. By unleashing a fist, a fist of arrows in... A broad fan formation fires one of well, that's gonna be based off the talent but one, uh, one of the talents allows you to use one of each trick arrow on each arrow so there's five arrows and there's five um, trick arrows um, just the base uh, ability for overwhelming force allows you to slow your enemies 50% attack and movement speed are decreased um, Slow duration is 6 seconds, it's 8 second cooldown. And it's also on just square, not L2 square. 3 arrow burst, rapidly knock and loose 3 trick arrows at your target. So it's a single target ability. Um, you're at your target, perfect for neutralizing even, neutralizing even the most powerful of foes. You can gain either freeze arrow or electric arrow or explosive arrow. This is just um, without the talent. So you get one of those. You can use it'll randomly choose one of those three trick arrows. Um, the next ability is Stark Tech Medical Arrow. Deploy a high tech arrow that floods an area with nanites, which mend wounds and dull enemy attacks. Applies per so. This, the buff is going to be from another talent as well. Applies protected and rapid healing. Buff duration 3 seconds. Area duration 5 seconds. Cooldown is 15 seconds. Um, buff effect protected. Damage absorbed 2110. Come on, let's mix it up already. Buff effect rapid healing. Health gained 20% of max health per second. Shrieking arrow. Shoot an arrow that taunts enemies around its landing site, then explodes. 
the damage would be 13,000 to 19.5k. Bomb timer, 3 seconds. Cooldown is 12 seconds. Start at Claymore. Technically would be, I believe, 35%. I think. I think it would be 35%. Uh, uh, 35 seconds. So let's start at Claymore. Aero system. After hitting its target, transforms into a target which showers the arrow with white hot shrapnel. Damage 17,293 twice per second. The area duration is 4 seconds. Cooldown would generally be 50, uh, 30 to 35 seconds, but the talent drops it down to 15 seconds. Um, I have this on L2X, Shrieking Arrow. I have that on L2 Triangle. And StarTech Medical Arrow, I have that on Triangle. Three Arrow Burst, I have that on Circle. So on to the talents. Um, Can't Miss is probably the best option. Either Can't Miss or or Muscle Memory. Muscle Memory says when you activate a Trick Arrowhead effect, health gain 10% of your max health, Spirit Restored 10% of max Spirit. So you gain, this one would obviously help you probably more if you were running like trials but this one overall like patrols and operations probably would be the best option just to put out more damage but then again you will get more um your spirit will be restored 10 percent um anytime you use either the five arrows i forget what it's called overwhelming force or the three arrow burst or the um the charging one rocket arrow so if you use any of those three then muscle memory would proc and give you your health back and your smack spirit so i would definitely use this muscle memory talent if you were to run uh, cosmic trials if you think you can survive without it and you're just trying to dish out as much damage as possible can't miss is the best option for just glass cannon type like not glass cannon but damage dealers type of stuff um the next one you're gonna go for is make him count trick arrowhead deals effects deal 30 percent more damage trick arrows powers gain the following effects total damage 100 percent trick or er uh, trick arrowheads two generated or generator, you get two. Um, so the trick arrow has generated doesn't matter because you're not going to actually be using those specific trick arrows. But the damage increase does matter and you will be needing those. Extra impact, three arrow burst generates two random trick arrow heads when activated. Three arrow, arrow burst max plus two. So instead of your... Um, Three arrow burst is only doing one um, random trick arrowhead. It'll be doing two random trick arrowheads. I believe it'll be doing two, or will it be three? I'm pretty sure it's just two. If it's all three, then that would be even better. Um, next one you're gonna want to go for. Yeah, the next one you're gonna want to go for. The next one you're gonna want to go for is the Star Tag, the Star Tag Claymore turret. Um, you it's a 20 second cooldown reduction. Star Tech Claymore dura turret duration is decreased by two seconds as well. So the this would probably probably be the best talent in my opinion for this because the cooldown is reduced by 20 seconds. So the cooldown reduction outweighs the duration reduction in my opinion. Overwhelming force is what you're going to want to use when it comes with, um, what was that? Is it called overwhelming force? I, th I thought it was called wave of arrows. Well, I think it just changes the name of wave of arrows. Yeah, it changes the name of wave of arrows into overwhelming force. So what overwhelming force does is it fires one of each trick arrow as well as the shrieking arrow and nerve gas arrow and has a eight second cooldown. So that would... That's obviously the best option to have for for this. 
The next one we're gonna go with over is your synergies, what is good and what you what you need, what helps and what you don't need. So Angela, I wanna say need because the cooldown, all of your abilities are cooldown and the speed helps a lot, the speed attribute. Ant-Man, don't need. Beast, don't need. Black Panther, helps with just the movement speed. Melee, nothing. Black Widow, um, need because of the range, but melee you don't need. Blade, helps. Attack speed is a definite. Health on hit. I would, I'm on the fence of need and helps. Um, Captain America, don't need. Captain Marvel, don't need. Colossus, helps. Cyclops helps the spirit on enemy defeat helps a lot energy power you don't necessarily need daredevil helps a lot because of, I want to say need because you do need that da extra bit of damage against normal and elites you don't need the melee though and Deadpool I would say need because explo you do have explosive ability and the health regen always helps not uh, Doctor Strange, you don't need Gambit. Um, I don't know if you need energy. Yeah, no, you don't need energy, so you probably won't need his synergy. Ghost Rider, you don't need Hawkeye. Um, yeah, yeah, you definitely need Hulk. You need Iceman. Don't necessarily need it, but it helps because you do have an Ice Trick Arrow. Iron Fist helps because of the health regen. Iron Man, I would say need for range. Jean Grey, I'd say need for range, but you don't need the sidekick. Kitty Pride always it always helps. Luke Cage always helps because of that durability attribute. Magic always helps because of the health on hit, but you don't need the summon power. Moon Knight is high risk. Kyrie Roared, you deal 10% more damage while below 50% health. Nova, don't necessarily need but it does help with the movement speed of the dodge Psylocke you don't need Punisher I would say need for range damage but you don't need a gun obviously Rocket you don't need Scarlet I would say yes need or helps uh, I would just say helps you don't need but it does help She-Hulk helps Spider-Man helps. Squirrel Girl, I would say need when, yeah, I would say need because every encounter tends to have a boss. Star Lord don't necessarily need. Storm, um, I would say need because you do have ice and electric. Uh, Thor, I would say helps. You don't necessarily need the defense rating, but the electric always helps. War Machine, um. Always helps in every circle, every character. War Machines always helps. Wolverine, you don't need um, for your infinity points. If you have 25 points or more, I would go with putting your points into fighting than anything else. I put my points in fighting and soul gem infusion. If you have less than 25 points, I would put it into the time gem and temporal loophole either that or the power gem with strike through or if you just want more health then gravity well those are the three um next i will go over what stats and whatnot so legendary item i would go for is the golden bow of apollo 750 damage to ranged powers 10 percent attack speed 10% chance on hit to create an explosion of magma at your f at your target for 6,000 energy damage. Rank 4 grants 1,500 critical hit rating to ranged powers. Rank 5 grants 10% chance when you hit to set the ground ablaze for 5 seconds. 7,500 damage twice per second for 5 seconds and is a 20 second cooldown. For the medallion, not Magneto's would be Magneto's wouldn't necessarily be the best option just cause the his specific medallion hey, um, these arrows don't shoot themselves you know because his specific medallion talent isn't gonna help you out too much 
but the ranged power every uh, magneto medallion gives you ranged power so that always helps but i would prefer a pyro medallion um your ranged attacks ignite enemies on fire for 95 82 physical damage over three seconds and they take 10 percent extra damage from fire powers and i mean you don't have any fire powers but that doesn't matter because you're going to be able to do 95 82 physical damage over three seconds for and yeah and all your abilities are ranged abilities so you'll always be doing a damage over time so the only thing is i couldn't re-roll uh, to a brutal strike rating or critical or damage whatever so i had to stick with the heal on hit for my pyro medallion but i'm just gonna stick with magnetos just because the brutal strike rating is just so much better to have um for the catalyst i have two out of the three perfect rolls kind of i mean i don't need strength at all it would have been better if i had got fighting but other than that everything else is nice because i got heal on kill heal on hit and whenever I use a med kit, I gain 25% regen to my health and my sp my spirit. And when I use a med kit for my cosmic, um, the cosmic talent trait, or whatever, I gain dam uh, damage shield equal to 50% of my max health. And then for my tech bonus, I would have rather had the tech bonus that gives me 5,000 health when I use a med kit. But instead, it gave me a, when I get attacked, I gain 500 deflect for deflect rating for 10 seconds. It's not bad, but it's just not something I would rather have gotten on Hawkeye. For my relic, I'm using a relic of Xander. I'm using the complete relic of Xander, but you don't need to have the complete. Um, you just want to have relic of Xander at the very least because it gives you the ranged dam ranged powers. So either Relic of Xander or Relic of Gibberim are the two ones that you want to go for on Hawkeye. Mainly because you gain spirit, you get more spirit with a Relic of Gibberim or you get more ranged power, ranged damage with Relic of Xander. And if you get to a whole stack of 100 of Relic of Xander, you, you'll have the same stats, 1000 health. And 500 damage rating to um, ranged powers. It's just you won't get the plus one to all attributes. For my um, artifacts, I have advanced crimson crystal of Sidorak, crossbones teaching credentials, and hand of doom. So with the advanced crimson crystal of Sidorak, you can get these from just doing patrols. I don't know how often they drop in anything under Cosmic. They don't drop that often in anyways in Cosmic. Anyways, but uh, I mean, if you can get it, then you definitely want to put it on. I mean, it, it's good for any character, to be honest. Um, you get health, a health bonus. You get damage rating to force powers. It doesn't, force powers isn't going to work for Hawkeye as much, but, you know, it, it's whatever. Um... I'm mainly using it because of the actual talent that the this artifact has. 2% chance when you hit to create a shield which absorbs 6320 damage and it has a 30 second cooldown. So whenever you deal damage, you have a 2% chance of getting a, a shield. And since you're going to have a lot of damage over time type of stuff going on, it's going to proc eventually. You also get a one to th you get one to three strength for your, from this um, crossbones teaching credentials. You can only have one of these. Um, so what it, you get the crossbones teaching credentials from defeating crossbones in the patrols. You gain damage rating to ranged powers, damage rating to melee powers, plus one to one to three strength. Critical hit rating, brutal strike rating. When you land a critical hit, gain whatever amount of or X amount of brutal damage rating for five seconds. This effect stacks up to three times, and you're gonna be hitting crits so much with Hawkeye that you'll always be having your brutal damage. You'll technically have like 1200, 1300 um, brutal damage increase every five seconds, which is really, really useful. 
Hand of Doom, you get this from farming Dr. Doom at the Doom Castle operation. Um, probably one of the best, hands down, one of the best um, artifacts in the game. As along with the curse artifact, which you get from Odin's palace. Hand of Doom, it gives you the intelligence, energy, and strength. One of three of those. Um, you gain a critical hit rating, you gain a brutal strike rating, and you have a 3% chance to electrocute enemies for 5,910 5, energy damage when you hit them. So that's a really useful one. Um, for my attributes, I have 3 durability, 14 strength, 14 fighting, 4 speed, 5 energy, and 6 intelligence. Uh, I would have rather had much higher fighting than I do with strength. My strength is just up there because of those artifacts. Um, I have 30,312 average effective health, which is a good amount of health for Hawkeye. Um, generally, you want most of your characters that are level 60 and in full cosmic gear to have 30,000 health and higher. If you're in full purple gear, I would say over 25,000 health for Hawkeye. Um, my damage reduction is very very low it shouldn't it should at least be 30 percent at the very least but because i don't have i think it's intelligence as his other trait yeah since intelligence isn't up to par it's only at six that's why my damage reduction is really low um my attack speed is at 14 percent my critical hit rating is 20, 90. Um, my critical damage is 53, 26. My brutal strike rating is 25, 81. My brutal damage is 64, 22. And my base damage is 80%. 80, 80%. So my base damage is good where it's at. It would be nice if I can increase it even more, which means I have to increase my fighting even more as well. But right now, I don't have any other way except for my infinity points. To do the song um if you're in full purple gear i i would say 1600 to 1800 is where you would want to be with your critical hit and your brutal strike rating if you can get it higher then that's even better but 16 to 1800 is where you'd want to generally want to be at for your critical damage and brutal damage i would say 3000 or 4000 is where you would want to be with those as well if you're in full purple gear or higher, you want to have those stat two stats around there and higher. Um, and base damage, mm, I want to say 60% or higher, 50% or higher in uh, full purple gear. Or, yeah, in full purple gear is where you would want to be. And um, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys each ability and what they do and just how my rotations work so this is the um, overwhelming force where you shoot all five arrows shoot the shrieking arrow the poison the electric and the explosive all at the same time so i'll do it one more time does all that and then i'm going to use my three burst arrows three arrow burst it shoots all three right there you can see that and then I'm going to use the Shrieking Arrow, like, actually no, I'm going to use the, um, what is it called again? Rocket Arrow. So Rocket Arrow, it pierces three enemies, and it, since, um, it also has a 100% chance to use any of the three trick, trick arrows. So it'll either use Electric, Explosive, or Ice. And it also pierces three enemies, uh, if I haven't already said that. Um... But the reason why it uses those trick arrows, it's supposed to only activate when you have those trick arrows in your slots. But since Wave of Arrows is overwhelming force, it has all five. It, and not just that, but so does the three burst um, arrows. So um, Rocket Arrow is going to actually be able to proc any of those. So right there, that's the ice. Um, the next one, let's see again. Ice again one more time see if I can get something different 
I did not get any, so I got ice three times in a row. Alright, anyways, so I use Shrieking Arrow and I use my signature, the Claymore turret, at the same time. Most of the time I use it at the same time, mainly because their cooldown is around the same time and um, when you use your signature, it does a nice AoE, abil uh, AOE attack and the Shrieking Arrow taunts all the enemies to come to it and attack it and it also does explosive damage so this is what it does right there and then the explosive so now I'm gonna go and take some damage and I'll show you what my, survi my, my survival Hydra. ability is when I heal myself and then you gain the green shield around yourself that lets you become invulnerable for about a second and a half but when you shoot that healing ability you will practically go to full health just like right away so i'm going to use all of my abilities and show you my rotations so I'm going... okay that's impossible even for me and that's really about <laughs> i mean there's not much of a rotation but you know whatever is available in your loadout you would use whatever's not on cooldown but uh yeah if this video helped you out at all you know just let me know leave a like comment on it or whatever um if you want to see other videos it guides like um vendors or crafting or how to level up or, and whatnot and let me know if you want to see other builds videos I can work on leveling up other characters and try and make them able to go through the cosmic trials see what's what's good and whatnot so yeah it's been nice and have a good night everyone or good morning or whatever and yeah peace it's all day any day one